All right, good evening everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and today is Wednesday, March 12th, 2014. And this is technical analysis of the stock market today. This is the Wednesday China edition. We're going to talk about some Chinese stocks, and uh, we're going to look at some of the emerging markets too real quick. The Dow today was down 11 points. It struggled. It sold off, and it was uh, all the way down here, 260 and yesterday closed at so it was down almost 100 points and then it just rallied back closed above the 10-day exponential moving average so we'll just have to see we'll take a closer look at those tomorrow um no great i mean it, it just every time it sells off it seems to catch a bid all right we're going to go ahead and take a look the first one we'll look at is brazil Brazil continues to sell off. We're continuing in this downtrend. It continues to sell off down here. Nothing positive seems to be showing up on Brazil yet. Apologize for the sniffing. I feel like I'm really fighting a cold I'm getting. Uh, so sorry about that. Um, and India, let's see, no way, I want to go Russia next. Okay, Russia, and you can see we're getting, Russia had this close down here, uh, a lower close. Uh, on a sell-off uh, today. Uh, it's the lowest close since um, May 23rd, 2012. So, you know, coming up on two years, uh, so 22 months, lowest close in 22 months on the Russia uh, stock exchange here. And uh, we are potentially getting some divergence, but we'd need to see a little bit of a pullback to confirm that these are really um, uh, higher points uh, on the indicators. Uh, the next one we'll look at is India, and um, oh, there it is, Nifty 50. India Nifty 50 is breaking out. Remember I talked about how this looked like uh, one of the stronger indices, and I know this is kind of weird, but, you know, when you look at this big formation, it almost looks like a huge cup and handle, uh, and uh, it's just... It, it just looks like a, a big cup and it looks like a little handle and you get this line across the top it's like a coffee cup and the fact that this thing is is uh, is breaking out uh, just kind of makes you feel like the, it kind of confirms it let me get back and where I can get my mouse in here Oh, there we go. I was wondering what I was doing. Sorry about that. It was locking me up. Okay, so it kind of confirms. So it'll. We, we could have a pretty big move going on here. I'm not sure what is really causing that with India, but uh, it's a pretty interesting move. And then let's see. The next one we will look at. We'll go ahead and look at China. And there we go, Shanghai. Okay, the, the reason I've got this view is I want to compare this to copper. Uh, and I'm going to come back to China, but one of the things we noticed in uh, in this is this uh, this copper ETF or ETN they call it, same type of trend in here with uh, with China, and uh, this trend line on copper I had put in uh, back a long time ago. I haven't looked at copper in months, and you could see they had this support in here, support, support, and now it's. It's, it's broken down through that, so uh, pretty negative. Uh, and it's a sign that, you know, it's kind of, uh, again, China being the uh, one of the big economic uh, engines uh, in the world and a sign of economic activity. Um, I think uh, it's got to make people a little bit nervous when you see copper doing this because it's kind of a uh, future indicator, if you will. All right. Um, Let's go back to the Shanghai, and then we'll zoom in on this real quick. All right, so the other thing going on here, <clears throat> excuse me, is the uh, the fan lines. Now, this is the third fan line that it's broken, and I'm expecting it's not quite horizontal, but I am expecting this to come all the way down, I mean, to, to have a little bit more of a sharper break. So it'll be interesting to see if we get that and start to retest this low or not. Uh, because this is the third fan line, and it seems like once you've had three of these, uh, that it has a tendency to make its move after that. Okay, uh, let's go back. I apologize for the sniffing. It's uh, fighting this really bad cold that I 
somehow came down with uh, last night or yesterday. Okay, Chihu 360. Um, I think we're in the fifth wave up here. And, you know, we, uh, I think, had an expanding first wave in here, a pullback second wave, a third wave, and now we're getting the fourth wave, corrective wave in here. And I think we've got another move up. And the reason, because I haven't seen any real negative divergence on the indicators yet. And that when that starts to show up, then that kind of tells you you're at the tail end. And I'm not really see, seeing that yet. So I think we could have a little bit more of an upward swing on this. I mean, it's trending very nicely uh, on Chihu. Um, uh, Sina, here we go. Cena is kind of chopping sideways. Um, I thought we had a little bit of corrective A, B, C action. Thought maybe we'd get an uptrust up in here, but it needs to break through this downtrend line. Notice I'd had this trend line in here. I didn't draw it today. And when I pulled this chart up, I noticed that it had actually bounced, came right down to this trend line, bounced right up off of it. So that may be a positive sign that it wants to go up. And, uh, but again, it's not nothing worth betting on. Uh, this thing right now is just looking like it's chopping sideways. Uh, let's see. I'm going to leave dang the last. Yoku, to do. This is one. I think Yoku, this is back to, what, December of 2012. I think we had a wave one, two. Had a big diamond formation in here, okay? And uh, when you break out of the diamond, like right here, you typically go the height of the diamond. And we pretty much achieved that. Uh, and so what I'm looking at is from a wave potential wave structure, one, two, a strong pullback on two, and you get three. And now the fourth wave then should be choppy sideways because you alternate between two and four. They're, they usually alternate. If, if two is a sharp pullback, four will be somewhat of a sideways and shallow uh, move. And so I think now what we've got, remember I... I uh, talked about buying puts in here, and then the earnings report came out, got an extreme reading. I thought we were going to get this pullback. I thought we were going to get this, and I thought we were going to get it here, and we didn't. And uh, But sure enough, I mean, look how it's pulled right back down. And so I think we've got an A, B, C corrective action going on here, and uh, it's broken this trend line that just reinforces that even more. So we'll have to watch that closely to see if we, you know, come back down here in the 27, 28 area and in bottom and start to turn in there. All right, let's take a look at Dang. Dang is uh, pretty interesting. Um, where is it? E-commerce, China Dang. Okay, we had this big symmetrical triangle in here, uh, October, November, December, January, February was consolidating sideways and we got this big breakout and uh, really nice move. I think it's achieved the objective based on the width back in here uh, coming out of here. But here's the other thing about Dang. Um, this this looks like it could be potentially putting in a very large bottom. I mean, this is all the trading on Dang. I'm pretty sure I've got it all. Seeing a lot of symmetry. I mean, this is a potential uh, large head and shoulders. Now, also, the thing that's interesting about over here, if I call this a left shoulder, and then we got a head, and then a right shoulder, okay, this right shoulder is a lot shallower, I'll grant you that. But it's interesting how we had a little head and shoulder in here. Shoulder, head, and a shoulder type of uh, formation. And we got a similar type symmetry action here, here, and here on the right side. I love seeing the symmetry. It kind of helps reinforce, just like when you look at this head, you see the pullback and you see the symmetry and you see the move and then you pull back and it comes up and you see these, these points almost like a little bit of a shoulder, head, shoulder in the head itself. And that's not uncommon to see. So anyway, I think, um, I think this is going to continue to trend sideways. It'll be interesting to see how far it goes. Keep an eye on Dang. All right, that's it for tonight. It's been Joe for Beyond the Chart. We'll see. We've got uh, unemployment claims tomorrow morning and retail sales at 7.30 Central Time also. Talk to you tomorrow night. Have a great Thursday. Thanks for uh, stopping by.